Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the new playoff system built into Bracket Pal. We're going to use the Bradford Beach website as the uh, example. Um, we're going to use the Thursday Women's Twos League because that happens to have 13 players, which would make it a more interesting playoff bracket, which includes buys and whatnot. Uh, we're going to do it the way we're going to do it at Bradford, which is going to be a gold level playoff and a silver level, level playoff. The gold level will have eight teams and they'll be the top eight and then the silver level will be the bottom eight but in this case we only have thirteen so it'll be the bottom five so let's go ahead and make the uh... the gold level playoff here click add playoff and then uh, let's give it a name we'll just call it cold playoffs we'll go ahead and check off the top eight teams one two three four five six seven eight let's click create bracket take a moment here and here we have the initial playoff bracket it's already seated it so that the top team Tenny Wool here is set at number one whereas Whitkey Pash is set at number should be the eighth seed so we have here the eighth seed um, we're gonna want to go ahead and click schedule game to create each particular game so we know when the game is actually taking place so we're just gonna make all these at 545 on different courts So we'll go 545, we'll set this on court 2. Notice how it's loading in the home team and the away team as we expect. <coughs> the date is automatically set to the next day of the, uh, the, the day of the week, so it's automatically setting it to the proper day. Uh, we got Schuberg here versus Edmondson Dominski. And then one more. So these are going to be on courts 1 through 4. Now we have all these games scheduled. Now, if we messed something up, if we need to reschedule it or something, we can just click the X. It'll take a second to delete, and then we can reschedule it as we need to. So we'll go ahead and keep it at the same time. We don't need to actually change the time here. Now, um, just to get everything going so everybody has an idea of who's going on to what, uh, it doesn't make sense to have the next playoff game be at 5.45, so let's go to 6.45. Put this on court one. We'll do the same over here. We'll go 6.45. We'll put this on court two. There we go. Finally, we're going to put this next. This last game is going to be at 7.45, the finals on court one. So everybody gets to see it. Now, if you notice, as we start filling things in, it starts giving this report winner and TBD and that sort of stuff. TBD being to be determined. We have no idea who's playing in this game because we don't have any idea who's actually won these games. Because we're administrative users, we can report the winner. So let's go ahead and report the winner here. So let's say... Let's say, let's say Whitkey and Pash upset the uh, top seed. Go ahead and click this. It'll store the change. And they're currently the reported winner. We'll go ahead and say that Carlini Pfeiffer won this particular match. So as we're doing this, we're, we're slowly building the bracket as we would expect. Um, we'll go ahead and do this one as well. Say Edmonton Go Gamalski won it. And finally, let's go with uh, Voith Reports. So here's our bracket all the way up to the finals, uh, or the semifinals are, are are completed. Now let's go choose the winners of our semifinals. Notice how it's loading in from the previous game. So Whitkey Pash from up here and Carlini Pfeiffer from here. Just get Whitkey Pash upset him again. They are just on a roll here. And we've also got this one. We'll say Edmondson Gamalski won. And we have our finals. So the finals are going to be Whitkey Pash versus Edmondson Gamalski. 
uh, on the same day at 7.45, 1 p.m. Let's say, just for the sake that, uh, uh, well, we won't worry about that for now. Oh, sure, what the hell. Um, let's say, just for the sake of argument, that uh, we lost, um, we need to reschedule it. it just, it's too late. We thought the game would start at 7.45. These weren't over until like 8 o'clock, and it's starting to get dark. So let's go ahead and cancel this particular game. We'll delete it. We'll reschedule a new one. Choose the name. Choose the proper teams up here. And we're rescheduling. It's kind of acting kind of funny like this because... Uh, so we're going to put this for the next week. So we're going to say this is going to be 8... Uh, what is that, 8.04, I'm thinking. And we're going to go right at 5.45. There's no other leagues going on that day. So let's go 5.45 on court 1, or on court 5. Go ahead and save it. And then now let's report our winner. So 5.45 came around. Whitkey Pash took it. They beat all the, they upset it all the way to the end, and they won the game. So there you go. So that's the winners of our gold playoffs. But we can also simultaneously run the silver playoffs. And this will be a little bit more interesting. So we'll do the silver playoff here. Notice I clicked Add Playoff again. Just click Silver Playoff, and let's just click the bottom five teams. Bottom five teams, Schnorr Anderson through Becker New. We have the gold playoffs right here and the silver playoffs right below. Now notice the we have slightly different layout here. We have schedule game links, or there's fewer of them, and we have buys. Buys are just mean because we have five players in this, the top seed gets a buy, and really in this case the top three seeds will all get a buy. Only the fourth and fifth seeds will have to play each other for the very first game. So let's go ahead and schedule this right away. Put this at uh, we'll put this 5:45 on court five. And then we can go ahead and record this next game right away or schedule this next game. Oh, we haven't reported a winner. So we click schedule game, but we haven't reported a winner of the previous game. So we're going to want to go ahead and do this. Notice we click schedule game and it says buy TBA here. Um, buy and TBA internally have the same meaning, so we just display them both in the same thing. So let's go ahead and cancel, and let's report our winner first. So let's say Clark Warden won. <coughs> this will get the schedule game thing to actually give us the right name. Or not. Scheduled the game yet? That's why. Still usability issues. Just finished this code like five minutes ago. So let's go ahead and schedule this game again. Canceling the whole which which winners won. We'll schedule the next game right away. It's going to be Schnorr Anderson versus To Be Determined. That's the confusion here. Schnorr Anderson versus To Be Determined because. Shore Anderson is going to be in that game because they have the buy. And then we just need to determine who this next winner is. So we'll go ahead and schedule it. We'll go for 645 since we can't play uh, 645 on court C. And then for this round, because we have two buys here, both of these teams are getting buys. So let's just go ahead and start it early. And then they'll have an hour break. And as soon as this game finishes, then we'll be able to go to this game. So let's go ahead and set this one for 545 on court A. Looks good to me. So we'll save it. So now we have 545 on court 5 is going to be this particular game. 545 on court A is going to be this game. When this game finishes, this game will start. And as soon as this game finishes, we're going right to the finals because this one will be long done.
So we'll go ahead and schedule it, set it for 745. 745 on court three. We don't know who the teams are going to be yet because we haven't reported any results. We click save. And now we can start reporting winners. So we got Clark and Warden here. We'll say they won. Now we can report this one. The Schnorr Anderson took it. Just as expected, they were the top seeded team. We'll say Kalinsky Egerer won. And finally, we'll report the win. Schnorr Anderson, they were the top seeded team. They took it, went all the way to the end. And we have ourselves both of our playoff brackets completed. And so this is how you do the playoffs in Bracket Pal. I uh, hope you find it interesting. Oh, hey, one last thing. Um, you do see this red delete playoff button or delete bracket button. If for whatever reason we just completely hosed it up and we just want to start from scratch, we can go ahead and do it. We can click delete bracket. We'll go ahead and delete it. We can do the same. Let's do something interesting here. Since we're since we're going this far, we'll go ahead and delete this other bracket. And let's just create a whole bracket with all 13 teams. Let's just say we want we want to do that kind of setup. So we can just do everyone playoff. We don't even need to call it everyone. Let's just call it playoffs. Everyone gets in. Select all the teams. And let's create the bracket. This will automatically make the proper depth of a bracket. So notice now instead of it just being um, instead of it just being eight sections, it's actually got all sixteen, and there's just a handful of bytes scattered around. So we can start filling these games in just as we did with all the others, clicking schedule game, and going forward that way. <coughs> Excuse me. And then. Uh, we could do the same if we want to do like a 14 bracket. We'll go ahead and delete this. We'll make a we'll make a new one. We'll just click the top four teams. And we have ourselves our simple 14 playoff bracket. Now this would come in handy particularly. Notice how we're doing the the click in the check boxes. And that's because it certainly happens in some leagues that you just don't get enough signups. You might get A and B signups, but you might only get like four or five B players and you know, maybe thirteen A players or something, and you and you end up just mixing them together because you want you know, for a league like this you want to add some diversity. Um, we actually have this exact situation that happened at Bradford Beach. Uh, where we merge the co-ed fours and sixes teams. So, for this, we'll use Sunday as the example here. On Sunday, we have something like 27 sixes teams and four fours teams. So we can make a separate playoff bracket just for the fours teams by using the check boxes. So if we click Add Playoff, we'll call it the fours playoff. Well, just fine. We have the Julie Kalinske team, the Mike Liu team, Freddie Mertzig team, and Emily, uh, I'm sorry, Michelle Frazier. So the rest of these are all sixes. So we don't even need to worry about them. We'll just check those boxes, and it'll automatically seed them based on their records. So you click Create Bracket. taken just a hair longer to finish. There we go. And now we have our fours playoff bracket. We can go ahead and create the, the gold and silver sixes playoff brackets and just ignore the fours teams. And we have this completely taken care of. And at the end, when the players go and look at, their, look at the league, they're going to see the winning team right over here at the end. So, so we'll know who won. And that 
because uh, that's how the playoff system works. Hope you find it interesting.